So you guys can actually hear me now, right? Thank God. I was trying to use Shadowplay and Steam at the same time. I think they were contradicting each other. So that was stupid on my part. But I think I'm just going to go back to OBS next time because OBS is just so easy to use. Yeah, that's, that's, that was the problem, I think, was, yeah, I did, I disabled the, uh, Steam stream. Let me check real quick, let me just double check, make sure that I did disable it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was just trying something new, and it obviously isn't working that well for me. I really like OBS better. Plus, I can do, like, I don't know. I'm sure you can do it on other ones, but I, I can do the uh, webcam with, uh, I think they can do um, chroma keying as well with it now. All right, so let's get back into this. Hopefully, this game does not lock up on me. And uh, we shall go up. We need to go up here. Let me take a look at the map here. We need to go right about, I, th I believe. Oh no, we need to go higher. Wait, no, I'm too high. Hold on. I think we need to go right into this general area. We'll find it. As long as we get there. All right, wow, I can't believe all you guys, like, stuck with me. That was amazing. Thank you for your patience, really. Special thanks to Wes for helping me work out where I was conflicting there. Well, I can. I think I can up the uh, resolution in Shadowplay. Hold on, one second. Let me see if it works. I think I went low on it on purpose. Let me uh, do a quick settings adjustment here. Oh, it's not gonna let me. It's not gonna let me adjust the settings on the fly now. Now that I'm uh, broadcasting, I'm not gonna shut you guys down unless you want me to. But I really don't want to have to shut it down again. I feel like you guys have been patient enough. All right, let's get moving up north. I did play a little bit of subsistence. It looks, it, isn't that where uh, three days after you come in, there's other people that, uh, other NPCs that join in and start battling out with you for uh, resources and whatnot. Pretty tough game. I haven't had enough time to actually get into it and learn it really well. Remember, I kept running into freaking wolves everywhere, so that part was familiar. <laughs> Thanks, Willow. <laughs> Give him a like just for getting his mic to work finally. My gosh. So basically what I'm doing for or what I'm going for is this little little path right here. I'm gonna sort of join it and then just sort of take it up north. 
And again, once we get up to where we crashed the very first time, then uh, I will uh, start hunting for real rather than just running like a maniac. And you can see why it's so important to actually unlock these outposts because you can fast travel to them. So if I wanted to go hunting up in the northwest here, then uh, I wouldn't have to run this every time. It's, it's pretty huge. White-tailed deer, that's a male. Any other time I'd stop and try to get you, but got places to be. Gotta unlock an outpost before this, this crashes again. face to face with the bear and get mauled. I've yet to be mauled. I don't know if... I'm sure it can happen. <laughs> yeah, when you're hunting, that's what you want to do. Make as much noise as possible and move as fast as possible. If you move... Fa oh, there's something right there. He's running. It's a coyote. There's no way I can get that shot because my... Yeah, my breath's... I'm, I'm pretty... My heart rate's way up there. I'm jacked up. He sort of slowed down a lot, didn't he? Okay, whatever. Like I said, I don't know why the map keeps doing that. That's weird. Okay. It is 4.40 here on the east coast I'm trying to stay up tonight I gotta work I gotta work tonight so the goal is to stay up tonight uh, so that I can uh, get some sleep during the day and get back on a night schedule you know what I should do I should bust out this okay one we gotta go up one more little uh topographical line here on the map and there's our path hey it's a rope bridge are you kidding me really where I want to find this that sounds cool I want to pass that up see here Did I already passed it I probably already wait that looks pretty straight back here let me check I bet you it's behind me. Let me check. Nope, but what is this? Bunch of tracks. Okay, so no rope bridge. Let's see who blew up my phone there. Shoot. It's Willow West sending out Discord messages apparently. I would go and check out what you said, April, but I'm afraid to touch anything at this point until I get back onto uh, solid ground with the OBS. Well, I didn't see any rope bridge anywhere. Was I, uh, was I a distracted hunter there with the uh, cell phone going off next to me? Oh, there goes a bear right through the woods, left to right. Look um, yeah, did I go right over the bridge and not even notice it? Could be. Alright, let's get up north here. Let's see how much further we got. Oh, there's one of these little monuments. These things have, uh, you get, like, experience points for finding these. That's what this is. This little information icon. I can't remember if they give you a note or something. I can't. I think sometimes they give you notes. I'm not sure. Do I get inspect? Lore unlocked. Added to codex. All right, we'll keep going. Last time I went into the menu, bad things happened. Things were going so smooth. That was the first. That was the first crash. What's the flag indicating here? I think it's a sign or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, there's a rope bridge. Cool. Landmark unlocked. Level up. Oh, yeah, level up. 
Alright, well, it's worth the risk. What do we got? We got one perk available? Alright, let's pick a perk. Steady hands, I like that one. Um, breath control. I think I'm just gonna go with steady hands. Let's give that a go. So apparently finding those... Oh, another thing is, look, I'm hitting escape. Okay, apparently they fixed it. Alright. It was that you had to actually hover over one of the icons on the left and hit escape, and then it would take you back to the game. Not that button, yeah. Hey, now. I don't need to distract him. I can see what you're saying now. Wait a minute, she's a moderator. Could she kick me out of my own chat? Probably. She, she might just do it too. Blacktail deer. Oh, I kind of want. I kind of want that because I need that for my mission. We're getting close. I say we're. As far as we're talking about latitude, we're really close. So we're gonna. It's a warning call, though. He's probably not gonna. He's probably not going to respond. Because I was just like huffing and puffing and stomping my feet coming up here. <laughs> yep, that's right, Patrick. If it crashes, you blame Willow. I'm pretty sure that's why I had mic problems, actually. The wind. Oh, the wind's going. That's favorable. Wind is definitely favorable. See, he's not calling back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We've got something. We've got something. Is that a blacktail? If it's a blacktail. I'll take it. Even if it's a female. Eh, it was, but I didn't get a good shot on it. Okay. Another female. See how they're rushing in? Now they can throw off. If they start stomping around here, then they get spooked. You can actually scare away. So, what I'll. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to use the lure and then move away from that spot. Because it seems like they're drawn to it like magnets sometimes. And then she's kind of got her foot up in the air in a very. She's hesitant. I sort of could take her and achieve my goal and accomplish the mission, but I kind of want the buck. I mean, they're not going anywhere. They'll probably stick around here for quite a while. That's the way it typically works. So let's keep an eye out for this buck. Man, we're like. We're pretty freaking close here. They also have bow hunting in this, which is incredibly fun. I love bow hunting. I think I did more bow hunting in the classic version of the game than I did anything else. But I gotta work my way up to it. I don't think the buck's gonna come. I think I'm gonna have to just take her. So, oh, next time she's... Oh, okay. Dang it! My timing is off. Okay, do a couple more steps and then stop. 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 Oh, come on. That should have been a heart shot right there. Hearts are pretty low. If not, it's a long shot. That's a lot of blood she left. Uh, I didn't hear the male call back, which makes me think he continued on. Those, though, came running. So, I think they kind of did that on their own. Vital hit. Well, it must not have been that vital, you know what I mean? What, if I drop a right... Oh, I scared the poop out of her. What? That's a female, doing a warning call. There she is. Alright. Now, in the classic version, you would get all these tracks, you get a little bit of... Uh, um experience bonus for hitting each of those tracks. I don't know if that counts or not yeah, anymore. Do it. Hope should have enough yeah. to make it through the season as long as See, we there's the heart right there. Incidents. Okay, Thanks well we accomplished that mission. That's good. So we can move on to something else, like taking a photograph of bears. So there's the heart. That's what I was trying to go for. 
I don't think I got enough penetration by the looks of it. I wonder if I get a more powerful round if it'll penetrate in. But so anyway, that's what I was trying to go for. I think I was pretty close. Move her around? I can. Okay, hold on. Let me take a look here. Yeah, I was a little behind it, it looks like. That's my shot. So I should have been over a little bit more to the right. Oh well. Alright, let's get back on track. That's the male? Oh well, I'm done with him for now. Let's keep going. I got a little disoriented. Which way I was heading. We need to head north. There we go. Let's get out of this area. I don't, yeah, maybe I caught the bone. Undead. They're undead streams. They're there, they're just not very lifelike. Alright, let's keep moving up again. I'm thinking maybe I should just rush it and try to get up to the uh, outpost as fast as possible since I've been trying to do that all night. I wonder if because I'm streaming it, if it's causing some issues with um, the hunter. I can't imagine this is causing a problem with the game itself. Because the stream should just be recording whatever happens to be on my screen at the time. It shouldn't interact with the game at all. That doesn't make any sense. But it seems like they just had a couple crashes pretty quick back to back when I happened to be streaming when it has been over the last, well, night and a half. It's been working pretty good. Now, Grifter, when I was playing co-op with him last night, his did uh, lock up and crash at the very end of our session, but we had like a three, four hour session. So, oh, who got here? That is a big old bug. I'm probably gonna have to take this shot quick. Turn, turn. Okay, he's not. He's gonna. I think that's gonna be a warning call, and I don't think he's gonna react. We'll take a look. We'll see. Oh, oh, he's turning. I keep hitting B for binoculars. That's so, the hunter classic right there. Oh man, he's coming. He's coming down. He must be in a mood. I kind of want to take a shot right there. I'm not confident in this rifle's ability to penetrate, though. Okay, stop running in circles. Oh, you're an idiot. Maybe he's just trying to get better reception or something. Oh, for the love of Pete, this is ridiculous. I think I found another bow. Okay. He won't drop immediately, but that is going to be a vital hit, I do believe. Let's go up and check. I wonder how many years in prison I would spend if I actually hunted like this. Back up to 21 people, that's pretty good, pretty good. Black bear, male, I don't have any way to call him in. He's doing a warning call, so. I think that's gonna be a, what, a right lung shot? I don't think, it's definitely not a heart shot. I would've dropped him right there. Yeah, it should be vital. Wait, that's not footprints, hold on. Why are you showing footprints? Vital hit, okay, good. That's good to know. And this looks like running. Yeah, okay. So that's his outbound traffic. I see some more blood. That doesn't count. That's a feed zone. I just wanted to discover it real quick, so it'd be on the map for future reference. I so love that, how that tramples down like that. Okay, where was I? Okay. More blood. Shouldn't be too far up here. I get so distracted. 
I'm like a squirrel. I'm like, yeah, we're just gonna up there. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Bang. Okay, let's start tracking. I thought this was a purple. Oh, I see him up there. He's up in a tree. He's climbed a tree. No, just kidding. That's a female. Alright, let's harvest him, see how much we get for him. And uh, Right lung shot is what I'm thinking. That's what it felt like. Yep, flesh and right lung, 100%. Didn't get a good quick kill bonus. I mean, that's a pretty good shot, really. From where I was at, a little a little bit off the heart. I'm trying to look at the line up there. Yeah, right there. But not too bad. That was, that was a little bit further. How far was that? 120 meters? Alright. Nope. Let's get back down the hill. Take a look. Yeah, it keeps... It's little glitches like that. Alright. And I'm trying to take shots on these, uh... Male, uh, male animals, just because I, I really need the experience and the cash. The in-game cash. To advance and, and get some you know, cool things like the bow and um, laser rangefinder, things like that. And also upgrade my, uh, is this the path? That's not the path. Whoa, rabbit. That was loud. Sounds like I'm tearing my clothes off. That was crazy. I don't know what the sound effect is. I don't know why it's doing that sound effect. That's weird. This looks like the path. So we're going to have some hiking cabins here. We can't actually um, claim these as a place to stop. Uh, it's only if they have a flagpole outside. Then you can go up to the flagpole and raise your hunter flag or whatever and claim it. So this is not the place that I was looking for. Morning call. Female. So the stream, just for reference, looks like... I'm kind of watching it off the side here. It looks like it's about... I'd say 20 seconds behind my actual gameplay. So when you guys leave a comment real quick about something and uh, I don't react immediately, or you know, I don't react immediately, that's why. What are you guys talking about? Pita bread? Oh, pita. Oh, I got you. <laughs> like the organization, okay. It's zero, because PETA can't change anything. <laughs> you guys. Okay, good. A couple people are having a little pause here and there, but everyone else seems to be squared away on the stream, so. With the amount of money I pay for this internet connection, it better be nice and smooth. So I was with Time Warner Cable, and uh, they got bought out by Spectrum. So now I've got my, I guess my package got, like, I should be more specific, my internet package. <laughs> got grandfathered in. Could have sounded really weird. And, um... Uh, is he on the other side of these little bit of trees? Oh, I think he's further down. Jeez. And, um, I'm not sure if the new package that... internet package, again, that uh, Spectrum has is... going to be, uh, better or worse or the same. I need to actually do a little more investigating in that. It's about half the price, so I imagine it's going to be worse, but... I think I'm paying about 80 a month for that, so... Those of you that donate and things like that, that, that helps out with it, so thank you so much. Helps upgrade it so that you guys can enjoy these streams like this. I sort of like playing the hunter on the stream, because you can kind of relax and look at the chat. Uh, night mode... Night mode is work. Wait, hold on. 
Night mode's working, it's just, uh, I skipped it. I, I slept through the night, so... I actually skipped it. Uh, I wanted to get up to the cabin during the daytime. There are a couple animals that I need to harvest at night, though. I think a white tail and a black tail, I think, for side missions. So, maybe I should try to go do some, uh, night hunting. Wow. Man, if I had a, uh, tree stand, this would be the place I'd set up. I'd probably set up right up in this tree right here. Over, sort of overlooking that valley right there. And if it was classic, I'd put like a bear, bait barrel, like right in this area here. The only bad thing is it looks like the wind's coming from behind here, so that would blow my scent that way. Maybe I'd end up using a tree back here instead. What we got? That's a black bear. Warning call. Oh, it's really open down here too. I mean, there's some, there are some trees in this area, but that's pretty open. Let me do a quick scan here with the uh, binox. I can't believe we got 25 people in the in the stream now because all the technical difficulties I thought I was going to be entertaining maybe one or two. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's something there. What is that? No. Wait. No, I'm I'm just I'm just, I'm hallucinating again. I wonder if the bears actually climb these mountains. Like, if I'm going to find one on the side of the mountain. I th I'm trying to remember. In the Hunter Classic, I'm pretty sure they could climb pretty well. Let's check that. Morning. Oh, there she is. That's a female, though. I'll let her go. If I could get her and another bear in the same picture frame, that would be nice. I'd accomplish one mission. I think I'm going to need to somehow lure bears in like with a bait bear. I don't think they have that yet. But I might need to utilize something like that. Wow, that goes way back there. Yeah, I'd probably use one of these trees over here on point on this little point that sticks out. So I could see up there, there, back in this area, and then back behind there. Oh man, if I only had tree stands. And see, I can't see Expansive world not introducing tree stands. Oh, that tree right there would be pretty nice. It's sort of out by itself. Of course, I think it's screened by this patch right here, so that would kind of suck. Actually, never mind. But they have all these things that they have in like bear bait barrels, uh, uh, duck calls. They have. They even have uh, like um, Labradors, or they have dogs, bird dogs. So. I can't see them not introducing that into their new brand, brand new shiny fancy engine. Where are we at now? Are we almost? We're almost there. Hey! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna run. This is gonna be a great place to hunt. This is a beautiful uh, field. I think I'm gonna really like it. I need to get here before my game crashes. I'm afraid it's gonna crash. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Oh, outpost unlocked, finally. Huzzah. <sighs> yes, yes, April, this, you would hate this game, there are no sticks. So, that just seems like such a, such a waste of a game, right? Okay. So let's take a look at the map, see where we want to go. There's a lookout up here. I say we go for that. And we will start actually hunting now. Now that I made it here, so... We need to go basically north along the trail. I think the lookout's just off the trail, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's right. It looks like the trail runs straight into it, actually, so... We're going to slow things down here. Let's 
game is really just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I'd like to see Hinterland get a hold of this engine and just go to town with it. I love the long dark and I love the way it, um, man, there's another great field. Nice little valley there. I love the way that uh, it looks. It has such a unique look and that was really one of the things that drew me into it. Um, but as far as like just a, uh, let's say you wanted to do like a cat, like almost like a homesteading simulator. I'd like to, uh, there's something out here. Hold on. I think I see something moving. I love the fact that I can look way out and see something moving because the draw distance is just so much further now. Yeah, it was just a stick. Look at that. A stick that'll never be picked up ever, ever. Somewhere up in the Pacific Northwest, tears are being shed right now. Wow, this lookout's really close to this cabin too. Wait, that's not my lookout. I don't know what these blue icons are. Cause that is not, that, I'm not even close to it, okay. I don't know what this is. Last time I went to one, it was like floating up in the air above me, like 13 meters above me. I couldn't get any closer than 13 meters. So let's go check it out. Who knows? They put it there for a reason. Yes. She scowls at him. So it looks like this one it might be underground. <laughs> so the left. No, actually, we're. I think it's. Yeah. Well, three meters. I'm not nine feet tall. Right? Which is about what it is. Right? It's close. So that one's a little underground. I don't know what that means. Well, they just designed the most amazing... And there's water out there? Okay, where'd that come from? I was going to say, they designed the most amazing valley here, and then they forgot to put animals in it. Let's see. Well, was that a female or male? I didn't even pay attention. By Willow, you're leaving? Oh. Oh no, Bev's leaving. Okay. I mean, I'm still sad to see you go, Bev, but I just misread that. I'm feeling guilty about my enthusiasm level just now. With my last few comments. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's a female. Feed zone dis discovered. All right. Yeah, we're gonna leave her be. Got bigger fish to fry. Actually, there's no fishing in this. That'd be kind of cool, too, fishing. It's one of the things I mentioned a long time ago in the uh, forums for the classic hunter. I was like, you guys need to take your skills and put it into a fishing game because there are no really, really great fishing simulators. I mean, you have, what's it called? Um, oh, gosh. I, I own, I'm not, uh, what's it called? Oh, it just came out probably about a year, year and a half ago, the fishing game. But it's like European style fishing, so it's like all carp. They're like, yeah, let's just let's have competitions for carp. I'm like, nobody fishes for carp around here. Like a garbage fish. We love carp. So, anyway. Wait, there's something out here. Something big. That's a moose or an elk. Oh, nope. That's just a... Is that just a deer? That's just a little deer. Just a little doe. She looks big down there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... Hmm. It's weird. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. Way to, way to rub it in. Is it a cave? Yeah. <laughs> There's rough stick of it. I'm well armed, man. These guys don't want to mess with me. Of course, they did pretty good. Did pretty good when I had the katana as well. Oh, and the uh, the last episode of that will either be um, tonight or tomorrow. So the last one that I recorded, I should say. So I did like three of them, and it's taken me like a whole week to get them pushed out just because of being busy. Oh wait, check that out. See, see, I love that. Look how far I can see. That's huge. All right, I can see that bear all the way from here. I wish I had a rangefinder just so I could tell the distance. I'll get there. I mean, you gotta earn it. That's a female. We'll leave her be. 
We need her to make lots and lots of babies. I just love that. The Hunter Classic. I mean, that in itself just makes this one better than Hunter Classic. The fact that I can see further than 220. Because you would actually see deer or animals go and hit the 220 limit, 220 meter limit, and then you just blink a few times and then just disappear. So your goal was to like shoot the animal before they got out of range. Uh, not because you had a good shot, just because you knew they were about to, you know, blink, 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 and just go bye-bye. Hit that bear now. <laughs> Raymond, you bloodthirsty demon. Go for the sniper. That, oh, that's what they need. They need the sniper elite shot in there, right? They do. They do. Good call. So we get some experience points for going up here, too. Now, this is a forced lookout. I'm just saying. Does anyone know what that is for? Has anyone had any experience with these actual styles of lookouts and they know what that bucket is for? Because that thing, I'm curious about what it is. I don't know. I'm really curious. Alright, let's run upstairs here. Someone out there knows. Or they're going to make it up and they're going to make it sound so convincing that I'll believe it. What is it? Does, it doesn't say. <sighs> is it a water catchment? Is that what it is? Like, from the... I don't see any pipes or anything going to it, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a pipe. Oh, I'm beginning to, I'm beginning to put things together here, people. Look out, unlocked. Mount Kraken peaks at over 6,500 feet and is one of the highest in the nearby region. This is the home range of our local black bear population and we're very careful about keeping the outposts and lookout towers free of food scraps so as not to attract any bears. Oh, and you should check out the famous rope bridge while you're here. I think I already checked out the rope bridge, didn't I? Why was it so famous? Waypoint, five minutes. Hmm. I don't get what the waypoint's for, because I, I don't have a mission. Hold on. I don't think my mission applies to that, right? Oh, I guess it does. Capture two bears in one picture. So I need to bust out my camera and do that. Uh, two different types of coyotes. Or, not types, two different coyotes. And then harvest black tail, tail deer at night, and a white tail deer at night. So that's the things that we can do. I wonder if I can... I know I can zoom in pretty good with this camera. Whoa. That moves fast. Now I just need to find two bear on the screen at the same time. And this is not the weather for it. It looks kind of foggy. Okay. So... Yeah. So West is uh, Wesley is saying it is for various sorts of waste, human waste. Like a septic tank or something. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We can always shoot it and see what happens. See if it blows up. I mean, couldn't you, if it was for waste, couldn't you just run a pipe straight down all the way down and, and then out into the ground? I mean, you're going to have so much. I mean, you, you definitely aren't going to have an issue as far as, you know, I don't know, maybe. Because there is like a rise and run formula that you're supposed to use for... for those pipes. I'm not sure. Hmm. 
Winnipeg. All right, well, I don't know. There's another house up there in Winnipeg. We can start heading that way. Um, let's see here. We gotta go all the way up to this lake. Wait, that's way too close. Hold on. That's so much easier. Okay, there's another house up here. Yeah, I guess we just follow the trail. But I'm gonna, and there's another uh, lookout. So, but I am gonna hunt along the way. So, if I get sidetracked, that's the reason why. Why isn't my guy making so much noise again? I hate this fog. So, on YouTube, when it comes to the hunter, who has the most viewers? Like, is there somebody playing that has like 4,000 viewers or something? looks like a nice area. Should probably be careful moving into this area. Crunch. <laughs> oh, another thing you can do in this one that you can't do in a classic. You can jump. Not that it helps much. Okay, so much for that. Actually, climb rocks pretty good with it. There we go. Okay. Alright, I am going to go ahead and bounce over here to the Rhinox and just look for any type of motion. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Getting a little happy with a the clicky there. I keep thinking I see something there, but that's not it. That's not true. It looks clear to me. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Patrick. I think it's I think it's a catchment for rainwater. But wouldn't you want your um wouldn't you want your tank to be above your living quarters so that you get water pressure? Right? That's the only thing that's throwing me off about that. Yeah, it, it does look like something you drop on somebody's head, like like a freaking Wiley e. Coyote cartoon. Raymond. Wow, this is some open field here. Look, oh my gosh. You can get up there and you can just have a bird's eye view of everything below. Oh my gosh, this is nice. Except we're not hearing any any calls. Now that I've slowed down, I'm not hearing any calls. Of course, maybe that's why they were calling out. It's because they were giving warning. They heard me coming through the area, and they were calling out, giving a warning. So right now, they're unaware of my presence. They're just sort of minding their own business. But if I start running, they're going to be like, oh, hey, heads up. Sort of like how squirrels start chattering. If you start come through their area. And if you are unnoticed by them, they just keep doing their own thing. And don't really talk too much. Yeah, it's the squirrel theory. I think that's what that's what I'm gonna go with. It sounds right in my head right now. Says the guy that took about an hour and a half to get his mic to work. That is firewood right there. I see some firewood. Not 
much going on up here. So apparently I have to shoot photos of the um, the bears. It has to be in Low Low Lake, I think is what it's called. And it's like Mount Kraken and Runichi. Those two uh, districts combined. So I think, let me see here. Leighton Lowe's, sorry, Leighton Lowe's. I said Lake, Lake Lowe, I think. So I'm way outside of that. Oh, no, I'm just about to leave it. Okay. But I'm heading outside of that. So basically I don't, if I see two bears hanging out together, hmm, pictures don't count now. So we'll just shoot the bears. They're on the wrong side of the tracks. Living life on the wrong side of the tracks. Oh my gosh, where is everything at? There's no pressure up here. I haven't shot anything. That's another thing. Um, when you do, when you shoot and you harvest, these little purple blotches show that there's hunting pressure in that area, and animals are less likely to be, you know, traveling through that area. So it sort of, you know, keeps them out for a little while until things calm down. And some of these areas actually... I, well, when I started the night, some of these areas were from last night's uh, session with Grifter, so they do, uh, you can't just leave and come back in and re restart your game, I don't think. Because it, it, well, I've restarted this game many times and obviously the hunting bridge are still there. Ooh, toasted cheese sandwich, bacon, and tomato soup. That sounds awesome, dude. Where are the cannibals? Chinese food is overrated. I love Indian food. Thai food, Indian food, sushi. Wait, there's something out there. That's a bear. Right there. I think. Let me bust out my... Let me bust out my... Binox. Like a 10x zoom. There he goes. See him? He's just going under that tree right there. You just see the back of him. Hey. I got my money's worth when I got my LASIK done about a month ago. A month and a half ago. That was like the best thing ever. But it does take away the excuse that, oh man, I just couldn't see as well. Whenever I make a boneheaded mistake. Like trying to run, what was it, shadow play and uh, steam at the same time. And then wondering why there's conflicts. Trying to broadcast through both of them. Jeez, I sound like I'm playing war drums coming through here like everything there's nothing here to really to begin with there's that bear back there but I'm just really shocked at how little I do I think it's the squirrel theory but I'm not seeing anything either I should see deer everywhere Maybe they just don't come up this far north, really. Yeah. No, it's, no, there's a tree. Just a tree. Oh, man. Yeah, we have a German butcher here, too. Kopi's Butcher Shop. It's really close to where I live. When we moved here from Anchorage, back when I was five years old, it was one of the places that I remember going to as a kid, walking home with my mom. Because you could walk there and back, and that was just really good. Really good. I got scolded the first time I went in there. I was like, ew, it smells horrible. <laughs> but I got scolded. It, it doesn't. It doesn't. But to my, to my young, uninitiated nose, it smelled pretty bad. But man... Oh my gosh, some good food there. They do jalapeno brats, which I really like. And, uh, yeah, wonderful. 
Why does it, every time I do videos or I do live streams, it always ends up taking a detour into food. It always does. And then I have to always mention how much I love Tabasco. I am almost out of Tabasco. Actually, I have like one more refill for like a restaurant size one left in my gallon jug of Tabasco that I got like two Christmases ago. I think everyone thought I'd never run out of Tabasco again. I'm like, yeah, that's not going to happen. I will definitely use it. Alright, let's check our map here, see how we're progressing. I hate that. I hate that when it happens like that. So, we're sort of detouring. I, I should have went the other way, apparently. Um, okay, let's see if there's somewhere where we can go in High Lake. And there is. Okay, so where we're going to go is over here. Instead, which, what, it's about the same. Actually, it's a little closer. That works out. That'll give me a no northern uh, access point, fast travel access point. If I ever need to come up here. Ooh, hey, something. It's a male. Moose. I don't think my 243 is really made for moose, but... Another thing about Classic is they had unethical kills. Like, you couldn't hunt. Well, you could. You could shoot it, but you wouldn't get any points or any experience or anything if you shot, like, a large animal with a small cal caliber weapon. Because it was considered an unethical kill. You couldn't take a 22 and start plinking a moose. I don't have a moose call. Doesn't seem very happy. Well, it didn't say that I couldn't use this for moose. This is freaking dangerous right here. It didn't last him long either. <laughs> yes. Yep. Venison lasagna. You know what? We just had taco. I made taco lasagna with the girls tonight. You know what? I'm not going to go down there. I'll let it go. I think. I don't know. It's a big moose. It's a male moose. Oh. Okay. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. He's giving out warning calls, which makes me. But then again, he's a moose. He probably thinks he's like king of the freaking forest, or at the very least, Bullwinkle. Uh oh, uh oh, just pretend like you don't see that sitting on the ground there. Nope, don't see that. Really wish I had something to call it in with. Not sure where to go. Need to call out again. Okay, we got some tracks here, it looks like. Moose tracks. Oh, see? Ice cream, see? I immediately. <laughs> yep, always always divulges or digresses into food. That be a Roosevelt elk. So should we go for moose or for elk? Vote now. I think elk are going to be easier to get. They tend to roam, roam in big packs. I'm about to turn 38. Moose or elk? Alright, waiting. Elk burger spaghetti last night. Well... think that just because of that I need to hunt as if I'm gonna have some elk burger spaghetti but I'm gonna wait for the votes okay everyone's saying moose everyone's trying to get me killed oh wait wait I think I said hold on what was that I saw some movement down here I know I saw movement shut up elk I thought I saw movement down here. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the tracks. Wait, what was that? Oh tracks over here. Be <laughs> okay, I'm over ground. Yeah, moose, they fight back. Wonderful. 
Yeah, they did. In the classic, they did. They charged you, didn't they? They'd straight up look at you and charge, and you have to, like, dodge behind a tree or something. Uh, maybe I'll just shoot this rabbit and call it... Call it a night. Seems like the safer play. Ooh, that's a big trail. Look at that. That was a big... Big trail of something. I'm not sure what came through there. Footprint still tracking the mail. Good. I don't know how fast this guy's moving. I'm kind of surprised I'm not seeing this knock down more. This grass. I mean, it's a freaking moose, for God's sakes. Of course, our legs are really long, so maybe he's just his body is actually above the top of the grass, and it's just his legs sort of skimming through the grass. That's probably it. Ostrich is good. Ostrich is really good. There's a place, there's a restaurant here called Cold Water Cafe. And he makes uh, ostrich with a, um, oh my god. What is it? It's sort of like a raspberry glaze on it. Oh. And then he puts it over uh, smashed red, uh, red potatoes. So good. I mean, it's like $35, but it's really good. I haven't had that in forever. The moose is not calling out. I feel like I'm... Ooh. He, he knocked this down there. This area right here down quite a bit. That is true. The ra rabbits can can cause some serious damage. Just depending on where they come from. He's at a trot, which isn't good for us, because imagine a moose trot. That's like, that's probably about, what, 20 mile an hour? Get those long legs going like that. He's walking now. My wi the the wind is not doing us any favors right now. As you can see, it's directly at my back. Hopefully, this moose has allergies. I'm waiting. Basically, what I have to do with some of these is you track them until they get into a big open field. And then you take a shot when they're exposed down there. This almost looks like a path, doesn't it? A lot of times that's how this goes. Is you just sort of track them through here. They keep pushing up ahead of you. They keep, kind of keep bumping them forward with your noise. And then it, they, they end up coming out in the middle of a big field. And they kind of trot across that field and you get them. Just now, dropping. I hope I'm seeing some water down there, so I'm hoping there is a little bit of a clearing down here. What, is that an axe there? No. Okay. I thought I saw an axe like right there. Like it was one of those uh, blinds that you get to set up, but apparently not. OK, 
Okay. Well, worse than that, he's a moose. Can't be that deceptive. There's his next tracks right up here. Oh, wait, 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 what's this here? It's a bunch of reeds. Never mind. It looked like a freaking moose, like drinking water. I was pretty impressed with the progress he made, too, at that point. I was like, dang, he got out there quick. He's walking still, so that's good. I'm not, I haven't seen it where I'm kind of moving him along with where he starts trotting. All right. Boy, this would be so much easier if I had a moose call. But I don't have the experience or... Yeah, I think I, I think I have plenty of money to buy one. I just don't have the experience to buy one yet. Oh, it's 5.30. Car's going by. People starting to go to work. That'll spook the moose every time. There's some tracks down here. I kind of want to go this way. Oh no, you know what? I think it drops down into a valley. I'm just getting a weird feeling about it. This moose better be worth it. My gosh. Okay, it looks like it's starting to clear out here. Just listening. Just stopping to listen real quick. Still walking. It's like he kind of made a turn here. So he's sort of heading this way. According to that. But once you get into some of this brush, sometimes they bounce around a little bit, as you've seen. Okay, I see another blue one up here. So. Okay, I think it's going to open up here. I be better be careful coming through here because I don't want to make too much noise. Still walking. That's a good sign. Nope, not opened up that much. I'm open up more than that. Let me go this way. Oh, I see it right up here. God, this is so loud. Must be rolling solo because I'm only seeing his tracks. Please just be walking. Good, good, good. I can't be that far behind him. Okay, the wind is not a problem now. We got a crosswind. Walk. Good. Is there something coming up that can help us? My gosh. Well, we're almost back to. Uh, okay, we're coming down into this area, which should open up because it's the river. So. Or it's, I don't know, swampland, I guess. They're easier to hunt. The cattails. Yes, they are easier to hunt. Trot. I did not want to see that. Did I spook him a little bit? I don't know. Definitely hasn't called out at all. Okay, went that way. Did he really do a 90 degree turn? Like, oh no, okay. Little peg. He's trying to get me to go back up north again. That's what I was trying to do. To our original, uh. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're gonna see him here. I think we're gonna see him here. Assuming I don't get him to take off running. We should have it. Okay, okay. Here we go. 
Where are you at? You're a freaking moose. You can't be this hard to find. Are you kidding me? Oh, hey! There you are. Oh, wait, I want to go. Alright, hold on there, buddy. Hold on. There. Oh, hey, we can build something after that. That looked like a really good lung shot. I wasn't going to try for the heart and end up nicking him in the with a flesh wound. I mean, God, he go he go forever, right? Yeah, we can build a tower there. Apparently, there's moose in the area. I've heard, so we can build a little uh, little tower. All right, not bad. Uh, new interloper mode? Is, is there new updates come out lately? Since, um, uh, Muskeg? I've been, honestly, I've been neg negligent in keeping up with the long dark. I've been so... All my extra time's been doing stuff for the forest. Oh, is he pissed or what? He probably is pissed. Ancient blood. It looks like a decent batch of blood. Vital. Vital hit! Love it. Alright, let's go build something real quick and then we'll go track. Like I said, if he's got a vital hit, he'll go. Oh, wow, that is a. Is that a big pack of. Uh, herd of uh, elk? It looks like it. Holy god, there's a huge moose there, too! We're gonna get some spots in here. Hold on, get some credit for some spots. I don't know if these actually give you any points or anything, but we're gonna try. Someone has a someone has a harem going on here. It's like Genghis Khan or something of the animal kingdom. Okay. All right, let's build this. See if it scatters the herd. Wait, can I build it? There we go. Bam! We got ourselves a little hunting blind. So yeah, I'm gonna let him bleed out comfortably without scaring him every chance I get. So let's get inside here. Alright, so this is a hunting blind. This is actually pretty cool. That moose would have come up right behind us, you know it, right? Why would you not put a window there? Seriously. Willow West, I believe your husband would agree. That's just bad engineering all the way around. Not putting a window there. Okay, let's go do some tracking here. See what we got. I'm pretty happy with my shot. It's going to be a right lung at the very least. And he is running. No kidding. Very low bleed rate. Oh my gosh, I should probably just let him bleed for a long time. Even though that look, it's a vital hit with a very low bleed rate. That's just because of my caliber. I don't need to be throwing like a 338 at him, at him or something. Might have to take another shot to take him down. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like there's something over here. In a weird direction. White tail. Female mating call. Some more treks over there, but that's are white, so it's a different animal. He's at a trot now? Okay. Looks like a good shot. 30 out 6. There you go. I think my favorite rifle in the uh, classic was the Winchester 300. He's he's losing a lot of blood for such a low 
bleed rate, he's losing a lot of blood. Of course, I mean, he is a big, he is a big container of blood. So, there's that. Looks like we're going to head, head back up north. Blood everywhere. She went right through trees, didn't he? Still at a run. There's a big trail of crunch down the grass here. I might try to slow it down here. Keep him from running ahead too far. March or April. A vital hit, and he's still going. Thing is a tank. Not only is he going, he's actually running. Other than humans, does anything really mess with a moose? Like I don't, not bears and things like that. I don't think they do. Just now, droppings, just now. Right, where's he at? Is that him up there? No, that's a rock. It's just a huge boulder. 50 cow. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> well, they did have the 50 cal muzzle litter. So, they did have that. That was fun to shoot. Smoke everywhere. Long reload time. I tell you what, if I hit him where I hit him with the 50 cal muzzle loader, he'd have dropped real quick. Assuming I was able to get enough penetration. Well, that's probably the disadvantage of that, would be the lack of penetration. Couldn't, couldn't take a shot from too far away, I wouldn't imagine. Wolf packs? Have to be up. Oh, we got him. I think he's down. I think we... Yep, he's down. Oh my gosh, that was a long track. Alright, guys. I don't make you suffer anymore. Let's go. Either that or he's sleeping. No, he's down. I think I should have just waited a little longer. Because I kind of pushed him along at the very end here. So, hey, boo -boo. no wait. What am I doing? I'm doing Yogi Bear. That doesn't make sense. Why would I do Yogi Bear? I was trying to do Bullwinkle. All right. So yeah, pretty good long shot. Yeah. So, quick kill bonus zero. And we didn't get much out of that. Very easy. Yeah. We are gonna have uh, moose spaghetti though tonight. Am I back on my trail? Yes, I am. It took me right back to the trail. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we are going up here. Okay. Uh, 
That's karma course correcting me right there. Oh, cougar. Cars do. Three three eight Mapua. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't ask Willow West any questions about scout stuff for TLD. She's got the, the appropriate answer. I can't say. Can neither confirm nor deny. I learned that lesson the hard way. Oh, I think we're behind that herd now, probably. Ah, well. Let's just keep moving this way. There was another moose there, but I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me track another moose. That took forever. Actually, that's not true. I've done some long tracks before, like all the way across the map. In the classic. This game would infuriate your husband. Why is there engineering issues or the wanton for animal life? The absolutely unrealistic disregard. Moose. This is moose country apparently. We'll go up here, we'll, we'll discover this one, and then we'll shoot down and try to get some coyote, and then I think we'll call that a night. We'll do like a, f a fast travel. What time is it here? Is it now it's only 11.18, so it's still like not even midday yet. I was going to say we could uh, do some night hunting, but it's not even close. Not even close. So we'll go down to um, Chilos or whatever it's called. What is it called? I butchered that, I know it did. Chila. That was close. And we'll try to... Uh, do the uh, coyote mission. Spot two different coyotes. That'll be easy. Yeah, that's the only one that really applies right now for the side missions, other than taking pictures of bears. Bear photography. Oh, because it's un because it's unrealistic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I'm i sort of a, I kind of go back and forth between the two, but I kind of like to uh, set up a stand somewhere that I think's good and try to call them in. <laughs> now you can always ask. She'll just say, can't tell you. Man, being up in the Pacific Northwest, that'd be a beautiful place to hunt. Still, still the white tail, female white tail. Can't even hear it. It's pretty far away. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I do too. I, I would like to get into hunting, but <laughs> you guys see how hard it is for me to do a couple. 30, 40 minute videos two or three times a week, so. I did get lucky and I got a lot of time tonight to do a live stream though, so that's that's a bonus. Too few and far far between though. I'm pretty sure if I'd stayed in Anchorage, I'd be pretty well up to speed with hunting and fishing. 
by now. I, I actually am a pretty good fisherman. I do like to fish, but... Nowhere near as good as my nephew. Oh, he's moving to Texas. Him and uh, another guy that he co does collaborations with, AP Basson, and... Um, uh, oh god, what's his name? Flair. I can't remember his name. His last name's Flair. Another bass fisherman YouTuber. Um, they all got a... They all got a place together in Texas. And apparently the... The uh, house is paid for by, um, what's it called? Uh, MTB, which is like something tackle box, mystery tackle box. Yeah, so they're paying for the mortgage or, or the, the lease on it or whatever. So he moved from Chicago area down to Texas. So. was in his last video. I had no idea it was coming. But it sort of makes sense. And he did find... Somehow he ended up getting some uh, lost footage from Africa. His trip to Africa. When uh, he... Whoa! When he went fishing there. And he came back and had lost it all. I don't know if it was the data recovery specials that got the videos back, but he's starting to release those. He was bummed about that. It was a 14-day trip. And... It was uh, fully paid for by um, by the owner of some sort of a fishing slash bicycle resort or something like that in South uh, South Africa, and uh, he went down there for 14 days, did fishing, got all kinds of great footage, and um, then when he came back, it was corrupted. Everything was corrupted. Like pretty much saying, you know, it was like one of the worst days as far as YouTube went for him. Um, because he said it was absolutely beautiful, but looks like he got some of the video bats, so, so that's good. Nature walk with a gun, yep. Rest zone discovered. So the coyotes were resting here not too long ago. If I hear a mail call out, I might try to call him in. Female still. Mating call. You know what? We might just go for the female here. I don't know. It's looking for a mate, but I'm sure it'll take a yummy injured rabbit. Let's go to shot here. Not really liking where I'm at right now. I hear footsteps. I see movement. My daughter and I were playing this game yesterday, and she saw. Oh, I just jumped. That was like a hip shot. I thought it was going to disappear. I think it dropped right, right there. It wasn't a very good shot. My daughter and I were playing this game. I wanted to show it to her, and. Uh, I was just going from trying to get the cabins and uh, we ended up in a coyote situation and she spotted it before I did so good on her what did that say I, can't, I didn't even notice I wasn't paying attention non-vital head jeez that's a bad shot I should have waited running Bleed rate medium. It'll it'll drop pretty quick. I think it's up here actually. Yeah, there it is. They're not that big. They can't take that type of shock to their body. Uh, intestines. Ugh. They get they get some cash out of it. Much experience. Okay, let's head on back up to the trail. Oh, king salmon. I love smoked salmon.
Okay, just want to make sure it's heading back to the trail properly. I guess so. We'll do it again. Easy cash. I'm going to kind of get behind this tree a little bit. Oh, I can crawl up on this wood, I think. Should be able to prone out up here. just to get above the grass. Yeah, salmon is ugly. That is a very ugly fish. Super tasty though. It's like shrimp. Super ugly, super tasty. She was way back out. It looked like she had some distance to go. They move pretty quick, these coyotes do. Let's back off here. I almost think I'm zooming in too far. I'm pretty much, I, mean, I think I'm better off just eyeballing it. And watch it for movement. Ooh, that helps actually. The shadow does help. Clouds. I like this because the whole the whole forest does seem sort of alive, like not overly exaggerated either. Like some games. Oh, we're back to talking about how to prepare fish now. Back to food. I don't have a problem with it. I like it. I'm just just observing. You know it's got to be. I'm gonna try calling one more time here. All this for a female coyote. This doesn't seem worthwhile. I sort of want, want to redeem myself with a better shot this time, actually. to go. For some reason she was not interested in a free meal. Okay. Still going to keep an eye over there just in case. Just in case. This would be I think this would look pretty spectacular in Oculus. Alright, let's keep going. How close are we? we gotta be getting close. Close to the tower. And then the cabin. Wait, where was the other one at? I missed it. Warning call. So she was closing in. Man, she was taking her sweet time. 
Oh, there she is, I think. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, she turned. Her mouth got her into trouble. Kidding me? Dropped right there. That's probably a massive buck that was calling out. Instead, I go for the female coyote. Well played, sir. Well played. All right, back on the back on the trail of death. Oh yeah, I love trout. Trout's really good too. Actually, fish in general. Yeah. Gordon's fish sticks, man. I don't care. I like. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Honestly, when you put the two side by side, it is it is pretty pitiful. Sometimes you just feel like fish sticks, though. Like sometimes you don't want fries. You want tater tots. Sometimes you don't want your pizza to be a triangle. You want it to be a rectangle with a soggy, doughy crust. It's all about memories. Jeez. Oh, oh, that's a male. Mating call. Nice. I gotta find a rock or something to sit on. I think this one's probably, it looks a little obstructed. This might actually be pretty good. Should be able to prone out here. See him come up through this area. I think that's going to actually work out really good. Yeah, this, this is going to work out. Nice. So it has a 90 second effective uh, time limit, I guess is what you call it. It's good for 90 seconds of attraction. So uh, after 90 seconds, we should give it another give it another go. He's talking about the geometry of food. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, man. It's either hot sauce or geometry of food. It's KFC for the... Fish tacos. Yeah, there you go. Alright, I'm not having a seizure, I just had to move my mouse into a better position. I was running out of room on the mouse pad. I tried to do it as delicately as possible, but I'm sure you guys noticed the little stutter there. Come on. Oh yeah, we haven't seen much rain, have we? 
point. Come on, it was a mating call. I'm putting out a female. Come have me. Signal call, whatever. Take me as I am. Chick fil A. Not on Sundays. KFC for the win on Sundays. Actually, I like KFC's pot pies. Their chicken pot pies. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Now, because of what happened with the coyote last time, I'm going to be extra paranoid about leaving early. So I'm going to end up sitting here for a long time. While this deer is, I'm sure, gone. No, he's here. He's got to be, right? He has to be. The better the deer, the more cautious, something like that. I wonder if I can get up on that rock. That might be a better rock. Let's try. Let's, let's stay low here. Oh, I just fell off a rock. Crawl up, crawl up, crawl up, crawl up. There we go, crawl up. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is a much better rock. Yes. Oh, hey! There's a look out there. Come on, deer. The wind's even in, in our favor. There's no reason. Maybe it's a gay deer. Could be. He's thinking to himself, I'll go shopping with you, but I don't want to mate with you, so I want to ignore you right now. Hmm. Don't know. And it's getting foggy. The flavor's in the corners. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, you can't cut corners. Round ravioli. Pfft. Oh, come on, man. Uh. All right, we're going to get we're going to put it on the timer. We're putting it on the clock. Uh, what should we set it for? 50 minutes. There we go. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll give them um, three minutes. Starting now. Let's turn down the volume on this ringer before it wakes the entire house up, though. That'd be annoying. While I'm setting this clock, the deer just comes walking right up to me. Okay. There we go. Oh, took a picture of my background, my screen. So we'll do one more bleat in the middle of our three minute. I'm really disappointed. I thought for sure this deer would come in. Hmm. Hashtag gay deer, yeah. L LGBT <laughs> deer rights. Gay, d gay deer. <laughs> yeah, Gaydar. <laughs> you laugh. But what other explanation could there be? 
Maybe he's deaf. Maybe that's the problem. Oh boy. Wait. Hold on. Oh man, I thought I heard something. I don't think I did. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna bag me a heterosexual deer. We'll let the count, we'll let the timer run down. One more. About 50 seconds. And we're, we're pulling the plug on this operation. We're going to go up there. Yeah. You can't even deer, deer dar. <laughs> my pets, oh, my pets are mad at me. Notice me. Gay deer pro. <laughs> hey, take care of the crow, 88. Try not to work too hard. Oh, yeah. Alright. There we go. There's a the timer. Talk about living life on the edge. Well, wow. it's crazy. All right. Well, our paths might cross again. It's hard to say. Maybe we can get up to this. Uh, maybe we can get up to the next. Uh, next side of the trail here or the far side of the trail we might we might come back in contact with him if he's sort of heading what northeast ish It's not like all the other deer. But why why would the female be buying the male deer? Oh, it's a there's that It's a feminist movement in the deer community. Whoa, that's the first time I've heard No, I've heard thunder, I think. In in the game. I, I've heard it in real life too. I mean. Uh oh. I'm gonna walk right into the trap. Maybe I just Donnie Darko'd it right there. And I'm thinking that I'm still alive, but in fact I actually got crushed. So, oh, if that is the case, I should be able to see where the deer are gonna walk to before they even walk to it. That'd be so sweet. Oh man. Now there's some good hunting to be had in Willapig for sure, but this part of the reserve seems to get more spelunkers than hunters, especially during the summer season. And that's on account of the old Willapig cave system that stretches out under Mount Kraken. Oh, uh, there's a cave system. If you get the chance. Yeah, yeah. See, I can't get away from the caves. I know. I know what that's all about. Okay, let's head up here, claim this one, and then we'll go spot a couple coyotes and call it a stream I don't know I don't know if gay deer would taste better than straight deer because gay deer they're gonna be like super lean you know All muscular, just there's not gonna be much fat on them, you know. And fat's where the flavor is, so there you go.
Yes, I'm going to start putting high-end handbags out. Wait, no. What, can, what does a deer want? I don't know. A gay deer. What would it want? Other than another gay deer. Um, Roosevelt elk. Mating call. Fabulous. <laughs> perfect. That was a perfect response right there. Really opened a can of worms there. Thoughts, geometry of food. Gay deer. Hood ornaments. Yeah. edition of Walt Whitman. There you go. <laughs> yep, you're probably right. Wait, let's see if we got any skill points or anything. We got to, right? Oh yeah, we got skill points. Got skills. What is this? This is new. Oh. See, I never knew that. Look at that. Increase the number used per canister for all scent lures purchased. Range, blah, 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 blah. We're not in the scent lure area yet. This daisy confused. <laughs> As a random chance of attracting an animal that's not usually attracted by a particular scent. By that particular scent. Spotting knowledge. Health. Trophy rating. Ooh, that's kind of nice, actually. But I do want to increase this sort of thing. I don't want that. don't really care about that. Reveals information about approximate animal group size when investigating. What's the third one here? Even narrower. narrower. I don't have a problem with the tracking cones, actually. So and then the third one would be reveals information about approximate weight and fur type. Let's do that. So there you go, I had to hover over those left icons to get the escape key to work for some reason. Maybe it's just any icon, but for me I always end up using the left icons. See, I figured maybe that deer would be down in this area right here.
kind of hope that I don't have to shoot him because then I don't want to be accused of a hate crime. Whoa, those rabbits just appeared out of nowhere. Like there's holes in the ground or something. Weird. Okay, we got some tracks here. Be interesting to see if these are... I think it was Blacktail, wasn't it? And we should get more information now. Okay, so... He was trotting this way. Such a fancy deer. trotting that way. Oh, see? See? Look. This is one set of tracks. Look, look, look. Look. Oh, it's female. Okay, never mind. That blows my whole theory out of the water. I thought it was two male deer hanging out together, trotting along together, but never mind. We are hunting, apparently, he's changed his gender. He's gender fluid, he's now female. Wasn't, he wasn't gay after all, I know what happened. Oh, there he is, he went back to male again. I think what happened was, before, when he called initially, he was male. And then before I could get my call out, he turned female, but not a lesbian deer. So he ignored my call. And then he came down here, became male again. Then female, when he called out just again. Or she, it. And now he's back to male. So who knows what's going to come out of these bushes. Or out of my mouth, for that matter. I'm going to get up on this because it kind of has a phallic look to it. So I'm thinking it might be attracted to it. Wow, that is some wild wind. I have a feeling the doe. Seriously, I think the doe is going to come running up here. Get spooked and before he even makes it up here. Okay, deer lives matter. <laughs> they matter to me. I'd like to get one. I wonder if it's like considered a unique trophy. Come on, deer. They've all gone silent again. Snap! That's a lot. Of, oh, that's the, there's the buck right there. Second one was a hate shot. Hate to make him suffer. It. This is like a wig. The antlers were, was a wig. Holy crap, where did they come from? I, like, they vocalized there, and then they come from back here? Seriously? They'll be down not too far. Got two good shots. One was a gut shot. That second one was a gut shot. First one, I should've just left it with the first one, because that was a really good shot. Got more blood down here. There he is. He's right there. Oh. Yep, stomach. I knew it. Not a good shot at all. That's a good shot. Oh, I, thought, I feel like I hit pretty, yeah, pretty well. In the middle. I, I'm kind of just going for the lungs because they're such a huge target. I mean, yeah, you don't get the quick kill bonus as a, of a heart or of a spine, but I mean, it's hard to miss the lung, honestly, if you get a good profile shot. So, all right, there we go. Mission accomplished. Wait, 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 wait. Warning call, blacktail deer. deer. Uh, Maybe he'll, he'll think the gunshots was just his mate being overly dramatic. Uh, 
I, I don't think this one's gonna come out for the plot forest because it was a warning oh well can't get greedy it's raining deer Wind is nice. That's going in the right direction, at least. Wow, I can't believe. Well, I guess I was proned out, and the wind was doing okay for us where we were at, so that's why he didn't key in on us. Yeah, he's not going to come out. A bow. Yeah, there you go. Dang it! Stupid does, get away from me. Unless you're gonna be at my decoy. That's cool. I'm not, I'm, st I'm standing here. I stand here. You go elsewhere. She's gonna spook as soon as she sees them come out of the, the forest here. What do you guys think? I don't think he's coming. I think we're gonna just bag her. Whoa. Trying to do a hard shot. Oh, I think I did do a hard shot. I'm trying to do a hard shot. At point blank range. Oh yeah, it's nice. Heart. Flesh, heart, left one. Can't stand a chance on that one. You got any more points? Skill points. Uh, no, no skill points here. What about perks? Nah, no perks. Wait, 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 wait. With perks, I can do handguns, shotguns, or archery? Oh. Okay. I can't wait till I start doing archery. That is so much fun. I'll pretty much give up the rifle at that point. Of course, you need to have scent eliminator... And all that good stuff. Go look here. Back here, I thought I heard another one. Hmm, okay. Maybe not. It's, oh, it's straight ahead. It's a female, though. Whoa. She's a little spooked, isn't she? Let's take a look at these tracks, see if they're all female. Oh, they're all the same track. Well, there's one up here. That isn't. Let's see what this one is. Wait, wait, wait. I hear something. Okay. It's a female deer identifying itself as female. Okay, so we do have a male down here somewhere. Good thing I didn't take the follow shot. Okay. Is he gonna, is he gonna be running? Oh, he's walking. See if we can call him back in. Trot. And they're all over. Warning.
lettuce spray. Did <laughs> it? Kind of feel like I can see on that side of the trees here, and I can see pretty good down the other side, right in this area. See if we scan. See if there's oh, where there's a doe right here. Just turned around, came right back. Kind of glad that I moved away. I hope the male's on her tail. for no particular reason. Yeah, it's safe. Look, see, she's still alive. Come on up here. I love how those, the, that tree right there is sort of bending in the wind. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, all those, like, conifers are. Oh shoot, I'm a deer sandwich. There's a couple females. I see two. I see another one coming here. Black tail. Is that another one there? Yep, another one. Holy crap, you're close. Yeah, see, any any male deer in his right mind would be right up here with the sisters. All right, I don't think he's coming back. I think he's, yeah, I think he's, uh, Decided to go climb a mountain or something. I don't know. These are all female. Yeah. It's too bad. Yes, that is true. That is true. Just dole out death to all. That's the only fair way to be. Don't want to offend, offend a deer. Alright. You can actually shoot these rabbit. You don't get any credit or points for them or anything. But you can. It's a little rabbit stew. Oh. A rabbit pop by. Stay still there, rabbit. Stop, rabbit. Rabbit. Stop. He he heard. He heard what was up. Suddenly all the rabbits are gone. I was going to cap a rabbit for somebody, but... Oh well. Alright. Before we fast travel back to let's take a look at this place here. You know what? There might be something we can set up here. No. I was looking for one of those blinds, hunting blinds or towers or something. Apparently not. Truth. Oh, we'll get that rabbit. Where'd it go? Need shotguns for this. Let's take a quick peek across the lake. Make sure we're not missing anything too crazy.
another... No, nope, that's a buck. That'd be a buck right there. Now the question is, can I hit it from here? Oh my god, that's a crazy shot. That's a long shot. I think we're going to, we're going to try it. Get my heart rate down. Shoot. That's a tough shot. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. I don't call you accurate or nothing. Wait, no, I call myself that. And everyone else is calling me that, so... He didn't even move. He's like, what was that? <laughs> I'm shipping these, man. And he's like, you're missing so bad, I don't even notice. Oh, my God. I need to change my name. It's war. We're going for him. That's horrible shooting. I wish I could go hunting in real life. I think the last time I went hunting it was pheasant. It wasn't even really fun. I went with a guy from work. I thought we were going to go pheasant hunting. Well, we go to a farm where they release pheasant for you in the field. I was like, that's not even a chat. What? Why don't I just go fishing in a, you know, a fish tank at the Chinese restaurant? Didn't seem very sporting. Let's put it that way. Is he still there? Yeah, he's there. He's there. He's there. Okay. I'm trying to think. Probably the best way would be to get on the opposite side of this little water feature. And get a straight shot across. Thinking. Take a look here. So I think he's right about up in here, right? Uh, I'm gonna try to set up over here. No, it's asking a lot. Miss her eyes too. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Your words have not been spoken. Who, me? Oh, Ohio. Dayton. Dayton area. That was some horrible shooting. Oh my god, no wonder I couldn't hit that thing. I think it was a country mile away. Alright. Jeez. Alright, let's try it from here. Let me knock some of this grass down. There we go. Got him. Oh! Uh, I wonder where my first shot hit. Looked like he was going to take off running. <laughs> I don't need to take long shots. I have legs. Alright guys, we'll harvest this one. And I think we will call this the end of the stream. Thank you all so much for joining. I do want to see where that first shot landed, though. I wonder if the second one hit spine, because it kind of dropped like it was a spine shot. Oh my god. Marco!
Oh, there's something question. There's a question mark over here. We're gonna have to check that out. Shoot. I am the king of string along. That was that was some good shooting there. Flesh, right lung, liver, stomach. Holy crap, that was a good shot. And then the next one was right with flesh and the right lung. That was a pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I am patting myself on the back on that one. I wish they'd show. Do they show the points for the rack? They don't, do they? No, they don't. They used to do that. They'd show your um, your score based upon what were the Boone and Crockett, Boone and Crockett, or whatever. I just noticed that. Like a muley that was like a 240 was like pretty decent. And I, I got two question marks. See, but it's never going to end. This is an information thing. We're going to get some free information here. It's going to go into my. Oh, it's gonna be one of these things, and then it's gonna be war, something more unlock, yeah, in your codex, and then this should be like a sign, probably. They always seem to go hand in hand. Oh no, we get to build in the middle of this rainstorm. Let's see what we get to build here. Hopefully, it's a tower. I want a tower. I'm sick of the little blinds. I want to make it a tower. Oops. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, peeps. Oh, I'd so be taking those trees down right there. Not exactly the best view. But can you have like built it out there a little bit more? That sucks. Or right out there, even better. Oh well, it is what it is. So thank you guys for sticking with the stream and putting up with all the. Technical glitches and all that. And thanks for thanks to Wes and Willow for helping me get through all that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I gotta work tonight. Gotta work tomorrow night. And um, yeah, greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all take care. Bo <laughs> shot mysterious reasons. That's right. Oh yeah. Only half hours away. You gotta be like Toledo or no, Cincinnati.